Hello friends, welcome to What's Up Wednesday. We are glad you are here this July 4th. Happy 4th of July, and it is week 19 of What's Up Wednesday. First off, I'm going to point out my new threads. Wild Woody t-shirts. We're selling them at, Wild, at Track 3, and we also have Lumberjack t-shirts at Track 5. We just got these in. I uh, hope you get a chance to check those out. Um, I want to remind you that all of these What's Up Wednesday videos are online at youtube.com slash Tracks, or you can get to it from our website, BransonTracks.com. Um, we have some special guests today that I'm going to be talking to in just a minute. They're enjoying their time out on Wild Woody. We're here at Track 3. Uh, it's a great day out here. Um, one thing that we kind of want to hit on today is I go, when I travel or whatever and I get in conversations about Branson, uh, there's sometimes that perception that it is only one kind of person, maybe an older person that comes here and that's it. Well, we wouldn't have built go-kart tracks if that was true. Um, and we want to talk to uh, these people that you're going to meet today and hopefully convince you that it's not just one kind of pe person that comes here. There's young people, there's families. Um, and, um, you know, a lot of times when people ask me, Oh yeah, country and western shows. Well, I can't even like name any country and western shows. There's such a variety here nowadays. Um, so we're gonna go over and meet some people here. Come on over. The surprise is too great. These people are American Idols and they're in town with the show called The Final of Five. And here they come. We're going to introduce them to you right now. There you that go. was awesome. Come on over here, everybody. All right. Yeah. I'm so like, uh, uh, yeah. I let the cat out of the bag. I couldn't wait. I told him that you guys. We had an accident. <laughs> I keep on the boy. Oh, here, right yeah. Here, oh, that was awesome. Okay, bumping or swerving, did any of that go on Heck out yeah. there? Yeah, well, I t-boned the teenage boy. A little bit uh, of everything. What do you it expect? was awesome. Then the guy was blowing his whistle, and I'm like, what did I do? And it's like when you get pulled over, and I realize it was because there was an accident in front of me. Right, exactly. And then we look to our right, and Diana's going, and they say, rub in is racist. Oh, exactly. Okay, so I want to have this group of awesome people that are here in Branson for just a few weeks introduce yeah. themselves. So give us your name, uh, what season you are in American Idol, and what you're up to nowadays. Kick it off, Siobhan. All right. I'm Siobhan Magnus. I was on season nine, and nowadays I've been working on, I, I recorded an album independently. It's and awesome. I've been promoting that, doing shows, Pick doing all kinds of stuff, whatever I can get my hands on. Awesome. My name is Diana DeGarmo. I'm from season three, and uh, currently I'm on the Young and the Restless, and just got engaged to that long-haired one. Yeah, yeah not me. <laughs> <laughs> the other handsome man in the group. Yeah, I think these two rode in a double-seater go-kart today, just because that's what married people do. <laughs> right. We have to share or, or engaged people. Right? <laughs> My name's Scott Sable. I was on season four of American Idol. I just released my own album as well. It's on iTunes, anywhere you can get digital music. And uh, I've been uh, out performing as well, doing some stage plays and stuff, and just continuing to entertain people like I did when I was on the show. My name's Ace Young, season five American Idol. I'm currently going to become a, uh, a race car driver sponsored by Woody's. I'm doing a show across the street with these beautiful people at the Andy Williams Theater. And when I get back to LA, I'm planning a wedding. But until then, I'm going to be right here in Branson. That's right. To July 21st. 21st. Yeah. You may have seen the engagement from around the world on, <laughs> on the finals of American Idol this year. Yes, so, sir. Um, tell us about the show. Whoever wants to talk, tell us uh, what time it is, kind of what you guys do in the we show. We have six shows a week. We have Sundays off, and there are matinees on Tuesdays and Fridays. What you get with all of us, plus Alexis Grace, is you get a mini concert from each of us. We'll do the songs that you love from American Idol. We'll do some original material as well. We'll do some group numbers that you don't expect. It's a fun show for the entire family, from kids one all the way to kids that are 90. Everybody in between. It's an amazing show for the entire family because we cover such a mass amount of uh, genres of music and time. And I will music. tell you some stories too and make you laugh a little bit. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, that's and right. this week only for the 4th of July, if you say Wild Buddy, all kids are in free. So all you have to pay is for the parents or grandparents. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Say, talk about 
our nice track here, the Wild Woody, yes. and your kids, the kids get in free. We're also going to be doing a, uh, with, with this show, we're going to be doing a special online at BransonTracks.com on our specials page. It's not up yet, but it will be up soon. Truthfully, um, we're, we're blown away with how many young kids there are at Bransonville. Yeah. So we want to see all you guys at our show at Andy Williams Theater right. because Come on out. you may not know Andy, but you know us. So come yeah. party with us. We're Come right here, right yeah. now. So come have fun in Branson. So, what's the surprise? I think Scott's been here before for a show at one point. But what's been the most surprising to you about Branson that you've not been here before? That it really is all ages. We weren't sure if it was if it was going to be mostly an older community, and, and we've been surprised just to go out to the restaurants at night. And there's some great live bands that play. It's very young. Happening in place, surprisingly, and, and we've been having a lot of fun just making tons of friends and going out. There's a lot of daytime activities as well. There's zip line, there's parasailing, there's sea dews, there's go boats, carts. there's woody, <laughs> there's go carts. There's, there's, there's literally so much to do other than the just, just shows and food. Yeah, right. But the shows and the food are already great. So come yeah. enjoy the daytime activities so you can come enjoy the nighttime activities. That's yeah. right. Like I said earlier, like why would 31 years ago we built go-kart tracks if it were only old people that came right. to Exactly. Hello. Uh, summer, summertime, family time, and just young people uh, flock to Branson. And, and uh, the lakes are great, like you said. And there's so much to do. If you're in uh, Springfield, you're in Harrison. This is not very far. Get your car. Right. Tell your parents you gotta come with me. Wow. It's gonna get loud here. Anyway, this is the finalist live. There's another group that'll be in uh, July 23rd. Uh, Ruben's daughter, Bo Mike. Come see Ruben and Bo and some other idols after we leave. But come see us before we leave. And also come to Woody's. It's a lot of fun. We'll see you soon. I have no idea what he just said, but whatever he said. We want to thank you for watching What's Up Wednesday today. And we hope you guys come see their show.